Hi, everybody. Tom Leahy. And Candace Suarez. <laughs> Good afternoon, <Yeah>. everybody. <laughs> Good to see everybody today. I'm um, glad you could join us. We are going to talk about a very important subject today, especially for our high school seniors who are in the yeah. middle of uh, looking at the Common App and, and other application platforms and filling those out um, for the admission cycle this fall. And that has to do with extracurricular activities. So, yeah. Candace, this year it's especially important. It really is because, you know, as we've talked on other other noontime things that we've talked on, the SAT is optional in a lot of schools. So we keep talking about what are they going to be looking at if they're not using the SAT as a discriminator? And they're going to be looking at the essay and they're also going to be looking at activities. So really taking your time to enter those into your application with some fidelity, you know, really looking at adding detail, adding descriptors, making it really stand out and ordering them in order of importance. Like put your most shiny, bright, wonderful thing at the top and then right. put the thing that you're not as proud of at the bottom. <laughs> right. and, and active active verbs when it comes to the description exactly created yeah. um spearheaded that was our favorite one we yeah, oh yeah that was a good one yeah. spearheaded initiated <laughs> um, initiated developed. Yeah. Led, yeah you know really strong verbs yeah right mm -hmm. yeah so yeah and it takes a little creativity it you does, know yes. we're not um anyway suggesting that you overstate it but you can certainly describe it in a uh, in a better way so exactly. that it, it really uh, demonstrates the, the effort you put into whatever that activity was that you're, you're involved in. And yeah. um, it's, it is very important this year. Um, and, and really even it is something that needs to be talked about more than even, even beyond this year, because it's uh, something I think mm -hmm. that people overlook students just kind of gloss over and they stick things in there without thinking about it. Exactly. And it really can be a very important part of, of the application, especially as you get into more um, prestigious schools, because yeah. for those schools, those other things that you're doing on uh, those other qualities and attributes and things that you're bringing to the table beyond your academics uh, play such a large part in the admissions uh, consideration. So, yeah, they really um, want to see you as well-rounded and involved right. in different things. Yeah. yeah. And we, I mean, it, it is, um, and when we say with fidelity, I love that. Candace, <laughs> Thanks. With fidelity, um, you know, we, we spent, you know, an hour, hour and a half, two hours with some students. We do. Just, yeah. just, yeah, just manipulate and manipulating, massaging, whatever you mean, the, you know, the, the information that we put into the um, activity section of, of the application. That's how important it is. So do not yeah. shortchange yourself. In that, yeah. In the Don't say I attended meetings or <laughs> I participated in the group. You want to say what you did and what the group accomplished. You know, right. while accomplishments you are good. Accomplishments mm -hmm. are good. Yes. Yeah. Well, and I have, I know I've mentioned it before, but I have a high school freshman now. <laughs> you do. So, you know, he came home. He's like, mom, there's tons of clubs I can join. And so, you know, let's talk about that a little bit too, for, you know, those who don't have seniors. Right. Um, so as a freshman, you know, I don't really want him to join 10 clubs, <laughs> but I want him to join activities that he's going to stick with the duration of high school, something that it's going to show depth more right. than number. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. It's quality, not yeah. quantity. Exactly. You know, if you, if you belong to 20 clubs, there's no way you could do anything of substance in any of them other exactly. than be a, just be a member. But so we want to see longevity. We want to see passion and commitment to something outside of your academics. I mean, that's the, that's what we're after. And to be able to describe that um, in your resume, um, you know, in a very robust way is what we're, we're after. So, yeah. And, and two, I think you keep in mind uh, when you start looking at things like community service and those and in clubs and think, you know, what direction are you going? And right. are you thinking about going in terms of your education uh, and possible mm -hmm. career and maybe those clubs and community service 
uh, activity should in some way support that path or that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So you want to, you're going into building construction management. Maybe you should volunteer at Habitat for Humanity and help build houses. Mm -hmm. That would make sense, right? It would make sense. Yeah. And the so, other thing we wanted to talk about today too, is we talk to a lot of juniors ingoing seniors that are trying to rack their brains to remember what activities they've done, what community service projects they've done, what clubs and awards and things like that. And they're gathering old emails and doing searches and looking or for pieces emails. of paper. And <laughs> yeah. So Tom, tell yeah. them about what yeah. we will be bringing. Yeah. I mean, this is a, this is always a struggle and, yeah. and we're always, you know, it's, we get a resume put together and we're about ready to, to, to send it out maybe to a school or something. And then, they, Oh yeah, I forgot about this or I forgot about that. <laughs> and then we, you know, and yeah. instead of being able to sit down with a, you know, a, a composite and a complete, um, you know, list and uh, of, of what's going on. And so to that end, um, we are uh, in the process actually going to be signing a contract uh, here today um, uh, on an investment in an app uh, that we're going to be able to put in the hands of ninth graders. Mm -hmm. I'm excited so they, about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they can track, um, you know, uh, all their activities mm -hmm. uh, on their phone. Um, you know, the, what it is, uh, how many hours they're spending and, and all of that. Um, so, and, and then you can be, you're able to turn out a report too at the end. So, but beyond that, um, I think not only for ninth graders, um, mm -hmm. high school students making it more efficient, uh, when it comes time for applications, it's also going to be a great tool for those students who are in schools that require, a certain amount of community service hours because exactly. or community service hours in their church, things like right. that. Yeah. There's certain yeah. requirements that they have. Exactly. Yeah. Because this, this is all recorded mm -hmm. on the app and they can print out a report uh, for the school. Actually the organization, they, they will be able to uh, enlist the organization, have them come in register um, and be able to verify those mm -hmm. hours for them through the yeah. app. Um, so, you know, you get a very official report that you can provide to to that school um, about your hours. And I think the school would appreciate that, too, rather than stuff scratched on a piece of paper or whatever. <laughs> um, so there's you know, there's a lot of benefits to this app. We're very excited about being able to bring it on on board and add it to our technology that we put in the hands of our students to make them more uh, more efficient and more exactly. productive and more focused and organized and all those good things that parents yes. want. Streamline so. the process. That's what we're all about. Yeah. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. If you, you know, if you're interested in learning more about that, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, contact us through the website, um, optimedcenter.com. You know, if you have to be a, a, a leader in, 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 a, in a school and you're interested in, in, in the app for your students, I'd be happy to talk to you about that as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, Anyway, um, with that, um, I guess we will um, say so long and have a great weekend. Um, and we'll see you next Thursday. Uh, Candace, any parting thoughts? <laughs> no, actually. <Okay. laughs> Enjoy get, the beautiful weather like, outside today. We have a closing affirmation. I know, I don't have a closing affirmation today. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Other than I would take 365 <laughs> days of today's weather. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it's it? beautiful it's today. Um, yeah, it certainly is. Everybody get out and enjoy the, yes. the fall. It's a fall. It feels like a nice fall, like day. A fall day. Yeah, mm -hmm. gorgeous. Okay, well, everybody take care, um, and we'll see you next week, same time. All right. Same place. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.